Welcome guys, I'm Gyu here, hope you're having a great day and in this video we continue our discussion about RxJS. This is a code from previous video where we covered how to create observable, how it works, what the cleanup function is, how can we subscribe to it and you know we have covered a lot of basics. Now it's time to extend our knowledge and cover more ground. As our observable is working and we are doing some um, HTTP calls here or maybe waiting some messages from WebSocket connection or user input, mouse clicks or whatever, there is a chance that uh, we, can, we will encounter some errors. And it is our responsibility as an observer creator that we notify our subscribers that error happened. Well, to demonstrate that, uh, let's say that whenever our interval i which is 3 let's say some error will happen and this will indicate that we want to notify our subscribers so let's do that let's check the result and as you see it has worked one two three and then it says some error which is what we have generated here when it reached the three and uh, basically we have notified our subscribers that this artificial error happened as you have seen in previous video we use next method to return a new value to push the new value to subscribers and error is one of the methods that we can call on subscriber that we receive where an observable is executed and once we call the error a subscriber will be notified that okay you know error happened then you can deal with the error and maybe this display some message or try to recover or whatever when we look at our subscription we only receive new values now how can we know that error happened well we can just add another callback in our subscribe call let's check the result And as you see, now this message, error message that we have generated is displayed in the console. And it happened because of this method. And of course, this uh, handler, this handler error handler callback can be complex and we can react to whatever errors might return. That way, our subscribers are informed whenever the error happens. So just remember this. When you create observable from scratch, you are responsible to ha handle any underlying errors and then notify subscribers. This is how observables work. Now I want to mention another critical thing here. Let's say for a moment that we remove this cleanup function and see what happens. And now as you see it is working this observable even though error happened and subscribers aren't subscribed to it anymore because we have reached three it's still uh, going on and this is a problem and it also dem demonstrates how important the cleanup function is so whenever uh, error happens cleanup function is called so the observable execution is completed and this is very important to remember as well. For some observables during the execution, we might reach a point where observable isn't gonna return anything and it has completed its work. And we can also notify our subscribers that observable is completed. For example, let's say our observable here represents a single HTTP call. And once this call is finished, then observable isn't going to do anything anymore so we can notify our subscribers that observable is completed uh, now it's not necessary uh, that all observables uh, will be completed some of them might never be completed let's say we are representing uh, button clicks as observable uh, and clicks can come in any numbers you know user can click once or twice or infinite times so Obviously, this observable is never going to complete. 
let's, let's comment this out and let's say when i reaches 3 we say that okay the observable is done we are no longer going to return new values let's check the result and it is working observable has completed we have specified our condition i which is three and observable is completed so one two three it is working fine now how can we handle this event so let's say our subscriber is interested in event where observable is completed well i think you have already guessed we can add another callback to our subscribe call let's check that and it is working whenever our observable completed this callback was executed and we received done it is working fine as i've mentioned before i want to make this note again whenever observable is completed the cleanup function is executed because observable is done it's not going to execute anything anymore and as we see when the error happens or when user unsubscribes or when it is completed the cleanup function is executed now if we don't have this cleanup function we will receive uh, error in uh, in a way that this observable will still uh, continue to work even though it is completed so let's demonstrate that real quick And as you see, it says done in our subscription call, but observable is still working. It hasn't released the resources it is using. In this case, it's just a simple interval. Again, this demonstrates that cleanup function is very, very important. And whenever you are creating observable from scratch, uh, you have to have this cleanup function and you have to be careful and make sure that all the resources associated with the execution are released while we are on a subject of completion of observable i want to mention a certain thing whenever observable is complete after the completion we cannot send values anymore so if i write this when it reaches three if i write subscriber next four it's not gonna work let's check that and as you see even though we have called subscriber next four it's not gonna do anything because observable is complete i've said this before and i want to mention it again while we have completed our observable here it's not guaranteed that all observables uh, will follow this contract some observables might never complete so whenever you subscribe to observable and if you depend on something critical with this completion call you have to double check that indeed this observable will complete otherwise it's not guaranteed that completion will happen at all as i've said before let's say we are listening to button clicks or listening messages from websocket connection and so on so just keep this in mind there is another way to handle this events and uh, get notified when we subscribe let's do that let's check this and as you see it is working as well so it's just another way to handle the values and errors and completion event when we subscribe to observable let's get back to our main question of the video what is observer well the observer is a set of these methods here set of methods where we listen to next value or error or completion 
and these methods can be bundled together with a single object or can be provided separately as a callbacks for subscribe method on our observable. So let's recap. In this video, we have covered more details about observables, how to handle errors, how to handle completion, uh, how to represent uh, these callbacks, these notification callbacks for our subscription in two different ways. And basically, we have learned more, uh, even though simple details about the observables. And this will help us in the future videos where we learn more complex things and where we learn how to combine different observables together and uh, how to use operators. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the like button, subscribe and share it with your friends.